Hello everyone, this is Viknesh. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a form in Zogo Creator. So I'm going to create a new application. So I choose create from scratch. I, I given the name of the application and send demo app. So now the application was created with uh, no forms reports and pages so i'm going to create a new form so here these are all the four different options which is available when you are going to create a form first of all blank form means if you click a blank form means you have to demo, create a form from the scratch for example i'm going to create an employee detail form given the name as employee detail the employee name you can change the name of the form over the right side over here employee name also you can choose whether you do you want this field as a mandatory or not if you want a mandatory you just just click this one if you want if you like to capture the prefix of the employee name you can check this one if you don't want you just and check this if you choose a prefix it will show you what are all the things which you want mr mrs if you want to add a new one you can add over here like the doctor something you can add over here i'm going to capture employee name employee email and phone number mobile and these are all the fields you can see the fields on the right side and the address so you can see the different fields which is available in the like a name email address phone and single lines or the text fields and multi line these are all the different fields which is available in Zogo creator so now i'm going to access this application so i'm going to access this form you can see this form it will appear like this so whenever you are creating a form by default your new report will be generated for the particular form you can see the report over here the report in the sense um, when you are entering a data in the employee detail form that will be stored into that report without any scripting i'll show you that how it's working let me add one data witness tomorrow and name as email which is witness tomorrow at gmail.com phone number nine six seven zero and now by one zero street as a school street two one two one one and state as a Tamil Nadu Portra code Eight zero three and um, India. Let me submit this one. Now, if you go to that report, you can see the entry detail over here. You no need to write any insert insert script to for this uh, values insert into that particular table. By default, whenever you are adding the data, it will be stored under this report. So. For example, if you want to embed this form into your website for filling the employee detail, and that you need some validation. Validation in the sense, if you want to enable a capture, you can enable a capture also by using the form settings. Let me show you the different uh, things which is available over here. So if I enable the capture, it's saved now. So let me refresh this form.
you can see the captcha it's available it's showing in the showing here so the user have to fill the captcha before submitting the form to validate the whether the data was submitted by the human or robot we can use this one so for allow all encrypted user this one for the purpose of this is if you enable that for a example if you are going to take a survey survey of um, survey of some uh, survey of uh, anything for example uh, online voting or something if you want to take if you enable allow one entry per user means system will not allow the user to enter more than one record more than one entry for example um, for this form i already uh, entered one data now i am going back to this form the system will not allow so this is thing so if you want to take a survey you can enable this survey or something like um, you want to restrict the user to enter only one time you can enable this one so now i uncheck this now i again request this form now it will be visible right so then we'll go to the next one so like this wise based on per user the user it detail will be allow one you hello one entry per user that data will be validated based on the login user email for example i'm logging using this email which you would need more at hotmail.com when i share this application to someone if they are logging using another account if they they can add a only one entry based on that login user this count will be taken okay the second one the third one it's based on the ip ip uh, it's, for example uh, it's the same like that it's based on the, the user instead of the user it uh, it's allow the user it can we can uh, restrict the user entry by using that ip address it's almost similar to the second one so same let me refresh it again the first time when i entering the data it's not capturing my ip so it's again it's enabled if i i i enter now it will not allow me to submit again let me test this test gmail.com i think it's mandatory so i'm just filling the two entry and i filling the capture then to gw i think it's source caps so now so this is a thing now enable geo fencing we'll go to the fourth one we'll remove the the three one will go to enable geofencing enable geofencing it means uh, when you want if you want to capture uh, capture a data within uh, some particular uh, location for example uh, for example if you are uh, sending your employee to take to collect the detail of uh, someone the your uh, in that case you can track the if you enable this from this to this from 10 miles if the just a second sorry so this option is used for for example if you uh, if you want to take a survey in a particular region alone in that case you have to enter the region and you can set the miles over here for example if i enter a 5 miles so people who are all within this circle they can only enter the system will allow the particular person can enter the data outside the circle people who are all uh, not in that particular range the system will not allow to enter the data to so for this types of validation will use a uh, geo fence okay so these are all the things restriction we can set it on based on the 
form type okay for example uh, there's an one more thing this one restricted uh, form availability it means uh, for example if you want to take a survey from morning 9 a.m to uh, night 9 a.m in that case in that case you have to choose a time date and time based on that the form will be available on that particular uh, timing only for example you want to take a survey between one to nine after uh, may 9 the form will be automatically it will be disabled so for a particular period of uh, we have we can provide a particular period of uh, access to by using this one disable after entry so this is for uh, if we set a limitation as a five the form uh, after uh, after we are entering the five record the system will not allow another one someone to enter a new record so that's it so these are all the form properties likewise uh, we have uh, based on the fields we have a different field properties like uh, for a name field we have a prefix and suffix for email uh, you can make this is a mandatory or no duplicate something you can validate using this one and also you can um, increase the field with like uh, currently the field with is uh, 200 uh, let me extend the width up a little bit I even this as a 320 now the reference is form you can see the difference so likewise you can extend the width for uh, every field so it's possible with uh, every field so, so these are the little bit about uh, Zogo forms, Zogo created forms and the fields. Thanks for watching.